Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoors, standing inside the 2020 Coleman Lantern 337 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. This is one of my favorite travel trailers. I call it the Family Fun Time Camper. Because let's face it, when was the last time you got a chance to get out, have some fun with the family, and reconnect? Just get everybody off of their cell phones, get them away from the electronics, and have some fun. This travel trailer lends itself to that. Let's start right back here in the separate bunk room that has its own entry door. We look over here to the entertainment bunk. I just love this because whether you're doing the family or it's a guy's trip or a lady's trip or a couple's trip, this camper is going to lend itself to help with all of that. We got dual USB charging ports up top. We have our own window here. Got this plush teddy bear bunk series mattress, but look at the entertainment center and storage center that we have here. Now, if you got the kids, this is great space behind the retractable ladder for the games, the toys, their clothes, their boots. If it's a hunting trip or fishing trip, that's the tackle boxes, gear, the whole nine. It's got full extension, solid wood drawers on the ball bearings coming out. And of course, you got the shaker style cabinets throughout this thing with the brush nickel fixtures as well. Got a TV mount right here. But look at this Ward storage space. And I don't know about you, but my boys cannot keep their shoes clean. So when they come in, their little butts are putting them right under there and not tracking that mud all throughout my house. They have their own storage spot for the shoes. You even have a little mini entertainment shelf right back here at the rear of the camper. You got the countertop here, shelf space there, and shelf underneath. We got a single over single bunk here. Uh, this is 150 pound max capacity. So if you wanted to let that down, you just pull notches out there you go but an entertainment and separate dining area right here with the booth dinette in the back this does convert down into a sleeper you got storage space underneath the seats on both sides but how great would it be how much do you think the kids would love you get finished making dinner they come back have their own place to sit and eat while the adults go sit and eat or if you're doing a couple's trip guys girls however you want to break it apart. This bunk room is fantastic. We got 82 inch high ceilings, Luan walls all the way around. Got that R7 insulation on the inside. And when we walk out to the living area, you got opposing slides giving you so much space. It's like you're back home. And yes, this is a island kitchen. Let's continue right here. Tons of countertop prep space here. Got that undermounted single basin deep well farmhouse style sink with the brush nickel high rise faucet. The only thing I really liked that I would have liked to have seen with this is the sprayer nozzle. I dig it. I, I'm just a fan of those inside of campers. Tons of storage space too. You got drawers on the full extension with those brush nickel fixtures once again. Then you got the large pot storage down there. Got space underneath the sink. So this is really designed for those large uh, items. And this kitchen is designed for those long weekend trips. I mean, just look at the prep space that we have here. You got countertop space with dual USB charging, power ports there. This is on the campsite, flush mounted three burner stove with a glass cover and LED accent lights on the controls. Got the oven right there. And Coleman also listened to people. They, they wanted matching fixtures inside the camper. So you're going to notice black on black with all the appliances inside their camper. But the other thing that they wanted was lighter interiors. So Coleman, with this one, this is the iron wood decor interior. We take a look across the way to the living room slide, which I'm going to get to here in a minute. They did a fantastic job of matching the dark accents with the light interiors. Just look how light and beautiful this camper is. Lots more storage space right here. This would be a great spot for the toaster oven, you know, maybe your coffee maker, because if somebody's making breakfast over here, you don't want to bump them because you know how you are without your coffee. If you're like me, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Get it going. They're going. Kids are playing. They're enjoying. They're watching TV. This is your reconnect camper, man. This is it. Plenty of storage space up top as well. And we come around, uh, I, I have had people ask, well, what does the booth dinette look like when we actually reduce it down? This is what it looks like. This is what could be a sleeper. You could easily fit two adults there, but when it's raised up, 
easily fit four, six people in this dinette to do some entertaining, to do the meals. You got beautiful, large bay windows, wood accents with LED lights on the slide. You got storage underneath the convertible jackknife sofa. That's a great spot if you need to put your fishing rods, if you got cases for your rifles or tackle boxes, and you need a spot for them to stay safe, that's a great spot. And when it comes to keeping everybody fed and well hydrated, you got a seven cubic foot fridge and freezer combo that runs on both gas, uh, gas and electric, has the automatic switch. That's plenty of space for those long weekends. Or you want to go for the week in the mountains? You got it. Well, Chris, what about keeping us warm? I got you covered. You got that 35,000 BTU furnace inside this bad boy. But more importantly than that, you got a 5,000 BTU electric furnace with the LED backlit that blows out heat and is phenomenal. This will heat the entertainment area. So if it's just a couple's getaway, got a couple sleeping there, a couple sleeping here, they're gonna be fine getting warm here. Entertainment mounting center right here. Got your cable plug there. Furion command center right here. And here's your main control panel that's got your lights for your interior, exterior, your water pump, your water heater, and your checks. How are we looking on the gray tanks, the black tanks, the fresh tanks? Uh, Coleman also put some of the largest in-class water tanks inside this travel trailer. You got a 60-gallon fresh tank. You got a 6-gallon water heater with automatic bypass in this thing, too. Great feature for camping. Got your mudroom storage right there, which is just past the entry port. We come towards the master, and I know you're probably asking, well, where's the bathroom? Yes, it does only have one bath. It would have been nice to see a half bath back there with that bunk room, especially how big it is. But with the size of this travel trailer and the weight that they're trying to keep, I dig it. Plenty of leg room on the toilet. Got the foot flush there. Uh, it is kind of weird, but I'm still not cramped. Yeah, you might have to turn at an angle, but that's fine. You're going to notice a lot of hangers throughout this camper too. I'm a fan of this corner single surround shower. It's not a tub, but... Just take a look at the cute little campus on that, on the shower curtain. Yeah, I said cute, what of it? Plenty of headspace too, right here with the skylight, with the hand crank and the automatic fan for venting. Got the shower nozzle there, large single basin sink with some good countertop space, plus storage underneath. And with your mirrored vanity that has that raised lip, you got the GCFI outlet right there. Uh, that's giving you good, I mean, yeah, I could see putting, like if you had a hair dryer and a cup for your toothbrushes, you could have some space there. But if you notice, it's kind of at an angle. So I see why they did that. So you could have a little countertop space on the left and the right. I dig that. Slip resistant, easy to clean, residential style flooring all throughout this camper. Once again, you'll notice the light and the dark accents. We come into the master that is a true walk around. You have more storage underneath the bed here. That box right there is a grill. And plenty of space with the nightstands on both sides. Got dual USB charging ports, full extension drawers. Once again, you're going to notice that's a theme throughout all the Coleman campers. So if you got a CPAP machine, reading light, great space for that. Got mirrored ward storage on both sides. And if you wanted to have a TV, the mounting bracket is off campsite. I'm just not a fan of looking across myself or my wife to watch TV. I like to have the TV in front of me at the bed. I understand why they put it there. I think that's a great feature. Uh, but for me, it's just not my thing. It's not my bag. But lots of space. Walk around. Got a solid private pocket door that's going to help keep that noise down and give us some privacy here in the master bedroom. But by far my favorite family camper in the Coleman Lantern model. This is the 337BH. Love the inside. Let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside, the 2020 Coleman Lantern 337BH. This travel trailer, fantastic for the family. Got a power tongue jack right up front, which to me is essential, especially when you're talking about setting up. Got two 20 pound LP tanks, diamond plated rock guard. You got the aluminum all the way around. Once again, you got that R7 insulation on the inside. If you do have solar panels, these are set up for the quick connect. There's your plug right there. Got pass through storage right here. That's the 50 amp cord sitting down there. We take a look at how nice this is finished. 
beautiful, great spot for the beach towels, the chairs, hunting rifles, fishing gear, tackle boxes, anything you don't want inside. Freshwater connection here. We got an enclosed underbelly, but one of the greatest features Coleman added, power leveling jacks. We got power tongue jack, power leveling jacks, both on the front and the rear. Sealed, tinted safety glass all the way around this camper. Got a large awning with the LED light, dual zone speakers, so if you wanna do some entertaining, this is gonna be a great camper for that too, not only on the inside, but the outside, I'll show you why in just a minute. Black tank flush right here, external shower with hot and cold. This is great for when you come back from the beach or from the hike or whatever, you don't wanna track that mud in, spray yourself off. Power port right there if you want to plug in phone or boom box. Solid step, solid grab handle leading into the camper. Back of the fridge there. And Bob, I don't know if you can get under there or not, but this is a dual axle travel trailer with those 15 inch aluminum wheels. The Dexter Easy Lube axles, which when you're driving down the road is really gonna help you know, reduce that sway and help with the suspension. Back of the furnace here, but my favorite part about doing the entertaining is this exterior kitchen. Look at the oversized college dorm room style fridge that we have here, plenty of space for if you come back from a great catch, you've been fishing, you got some cats that you pulled out the river, you wanna clean them up and throw them in there. This is a great prep space. Got cabinet space up there with the shaker style cabinets, even have its own LED light. This gives me plenty of headroom. I'm over six foot two and having this open, I got plenty of headroom, plenty of clearance. And even though I'm standing up, I'm, I'm good to go. Single basin sink, full extension drawers, and when you're ready to cook, you notice how we had the grill underneath the bed and the storage, you got a grill mount right here. So yes, you will not be left without having to cook on the outside. We got you covered right there. City water connection in the rear. I'm a fan of that, that placement just because of how the city water connections can be on either side. Having it here almost makes it neutral. Got the arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles on the back, help to keep those elements off the travel trailer. This is set up for backup camera too, ready and prepped. External cable port right here. Got your 50 amp plug on the off camp side right there. And this is also an enclosed underbelly like I had mentioned. You got, one, you got one dump station right here. Your gray tank is underneath there. You're gonna notice with the slides out, it'll make it a little difficult to see, but trust me, it's there. And then we come around to the end of the living room slide and we have our main dump. We got a gray tank here, second gray tank and black tank flush right there. And the handles are also color coded. So black will be for black, gray will be for gray. Come around to the other side of the pass through storage. And these have the magnetic anti-slam doors on them. It's a fantastic feature, but the most important part on any travel trailer is gonna be the info plate. This is where you wanna come check out first. So we notice right here, unloaded vehicle weights, 8,500 pounds. Gross vehicle weight is 11,000 pounds. You wanna ask your RV specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Tell me, is this the right camper for me? Cause that's what they wanna do. They wanna help you and your family enjoy that camping experience. But if you've been looking to upgrade the camping experience for the family and you need a bunkhouse, separated bunk room or a hunting cabin, something for the guy's trip, something for the ladies trip, come check this one out. Fantastic feature. Only thing I would've changed about it is put a spray handle in the master sink. That's it. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you think. What do you like about this camper? What do you not like about this camper? I love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper. I'll see you later.